Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Good morning, welcome to my channel Rad Academics. Today we are going to discuss on the topic basic principle of radiography. Positioning terminology. So this is the anatomic position of our human body. Standing erect with the face and the eyes directed forward. Arms extended by the side with the palm facing forward anteriorly. Heels together and toes pointed forward. Or anatomic terms refers to the anatomic position. So the anatomic position is standing erect with the face and eyes directed forward. Arms extended by the side with the palms forward anteriorly. Heels together and toes pointed forward. All positioning terms refers to the anatomic position. So again we are moving on to the body planes. How our human body is divided? It can be divided by a sagittal plane, mid-sagittal or median plane, coronal frontal or mid-coronal plane, oblique plane and the horizontal plane axial. So what is meant by body planes? Body planes are the imaginary lines passing through the body in the anatomic position. As the body planes are of three types, first one is the mid-sagittal plane, median plane is a longitudinal plane which divides the body into equal right and left portion, abbreviated as MSP. A sagittal plane divides the body into right and left section but not equally. These planes run parallel with the mid-sagittal plane. Mid coronal plane is a longitudinal plane which divides the body into equal front, anterior and back posterior sessions abbreviated as MCP. Coronal plane divides the body into front and back sessions but not equally. These plane run parallel with the mid coronal plane. And the last plane is a transverse plane which divides the body into upper superior and lower inferior sessions. So these are the three planes. mid sagittal plane which divides the body into equal right and left portion. mid coronal plane which divides the body into equal front anterior and back posterior session. And the transverse plane which divides the body into upper superior and lower inferior sessions. So with that you understood the three planes of our human body. Again we are moving on to the body surfaces. Anterior ventral that is seen when viewing the patient from the front. Posterior or dorsal that is seen when viewing from the back. So here, are the, here are the two two images of showing the body surfaces. This is the anterior surfaces when viewed from the front and this is the posterior surfaces when viewed from the back. Again surfaces of the feet and the hands. The posterior sole of feet is known as the plantar aspect. The chalk of the foot or the anterior or the dorsum pedis is known as dorsum. And the palm of the hand that is known as the anterior or ventral surfaces is known as the palma aspect or palma surface. Again we are moving on to the general body positions. First one is the supine. When the patient is lying on the back face up then it is known as a supine position. When the patient is lying with the face down it is known as prone position. When the patient is lying down in any position it is known as recumbent position. 
and when the patient is supine with the head lower than the feet is known as Trellenberg position and the patient supine with the head higher than the feet is known as Fowler's position and when the patient is in upright position I mean that when the patient is standing then it is known as erect position. When the patient is lying with the face up is known as supine position. When the patient is lying with the face down is known as prone position. When the patient is in any position is known as recubrent. Since the patient is turned to the right side it is known as right lateral recubrent. Since the patient is turned to the left side it is known as left lateral recubrent. And Fowler's position means the, head, the patient is supine but the head is higher than that of the feet. Whereas in Trellenberg position the feet is higher than the head. But the patient is in supine itself. Then we are moving on to specific body position. Always described by the side or the sides closest to the image receptor. Erect or recubitant lateral position. Again we are moving on to a lateral position. Right lateral then the right side of the patient will be closer to the image receptor. And in the case of a left lateral the left side will be closer to the image receptor. So will you able to describe this patient position? This is the image receptor and from this image you can see that this is the patient's right side. This is the patient's left side and CR means the central ray. So the ray is coming from here. Okay. So which aspect patients which side is in contact with the image receptor? It is right side. So if your answer is right lateral erect position then you are correct since the patient's right side is in contact with the image receptor. So will you able to describe this patient position? So the patient is in recumbent that the patient is lying on some side any side patient can lie. And here the which side of the patient is in contact with the image receptor patients right side is in contact with the image receptor. So if your answer is right lateral recubitant position then you are correct. Stay tuned for the next topic. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to like and to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.